What's up everybody? It's Grant Bork, your Acadian Agent here, and I'm here with another great recipe from my calendar. So every year I send out calendars with recipes, and um, this is just another month that we're going to be doing. This is April, and I'm going to be doing this with my assistant, Jeff. So this month we have Easy Bake Tacos. Um, yeah, I'm not a big cook, so this should be interesting for me, and it looks like a lot of ingredients, so I'm kind of scared about this one. But we're going to tell you our honest opinion about them and how we feel about uh, how easy it was. And we'll show you a little bit more right after this. Alright guys, so again we're doing Easy Bake Tacos and this is the month of April. So for the Easy Bake Tacos we have the ingredients, one tablespoon of olive oil and this is going to be to actually put in the pan. We're going to have one medium onion diced and we went ahead and put two cloves of garlic minced inside of it. We also have one pound ground turkey. Now we're using, um, it does call for ground turkey but we're using ground meat. So you can pretty much use whatever kind you want. A uh, one ounce packet of taco seasoning. A one cup of chunky salsa. A 10 count pack of taco shells. A one cup refried beans. And one and a half cups shredded Mexican cheese. And I'm gonna talk about these later. These are actually the toppings. So I'm gonna talk about that after the actual, uh, after we cook everything. So without further ado, Jeff's gonna go ahead and get started with us. Now, you could also use ground chicken. So whatever is your preference. Um, and you can make your own taco seasoning too, but the, the packets are easy, especially if you got a family and it's something quick that you can whip up. So let's get started. So the first thing it has us doing is actually preheating the oven at 400 degrees. We've already got the oven preheated and we've gotten started with, we actually did not spray a nine by 13 inch baking dish. As you noticed in the ingredients, we actually just went ahead and put the taco shells on the parchment paper just so that it wouldn't stick. Um, so next up, what Jeff is doing right now is in a large skillet, he heated some oil up and he added onions and he's going to saute the onions and the meat let's see so he's going to go ahead and saute the meat and the onions a little bit until they're fragrant and the meat is brown and he's like we actually have the uh, the garlic is actually in there also Okay, so the next part we're going to actually add the taco seasoning and then we're going to add some salsa. You just want to make sure it gets mixed really, really well. And this is chunky salsa, so it should be pretty chunky. That's what the recipe calls for. Now we're gonna let this simmer for three to five minutes. All right, now that we've done simmering, we've gone ahead and taken it off of the pot, off of the stove, and we're gonna go ahead and start making the tacos. So the first layer is actually gonna be the baked, the refried beans. And I've chosen to use black beans because they're a little more healthier. So you're more than welcome to use pinto beans. And you just want to coat each and every one of them. Just put a little, about a tablespoon in each one that should work. And actually these taco shells are a little bit smaller than what you're used to, so, but they're very good and crispy.
Doesn't have to be perfect. And so now you're going to go ahead and take the meat. Exactly. And just start scooping it in. It smells like tacos. <laughs> too bad it's not Tuesday, but Monday is good. It's taco day every day. <laughs> Like I've said before, I like spice, so if you want to throw in and cut up some serrano peppers to saute with the onions and the garlic and the, the meat, that's up to you. But for those of you that have families that want to take it easy on the spice, just use the regular taco seasoning and you should be good. And one of the great things about these recipes is that you just kind of make them your own. You kind of play with them and add seasonings or add whatever you would like to them and just kind of make them your own. So the next thing is going to actually be cheese. And this actually could be a great um, family time in the kitchen with the kids because they could always add the cheese or add the beans to it. The beans don't have to be hot because it's going to get heated up in the oven. But of course you got to be careful with the, the meat's kind of hot. Okay, and once you're done with the cheese, what's next? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually take these and we're going to put them in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes. And we will rejoin you in about 8 to 10 minutes. Alright guys, so we're back. We went ahead and took the tacos out of the, the oven and it looks good. However, we did come across a little bit of an issue. Um, what would you say would be your change to this? I would probably put the taco shells in first, heat the taco shells up, then take them out, then put the warm beans and then the hot meat on top of it and then go from there. So the reason why he's saying that is because one of the problems that we came up with was that as we're taking the taco shells out, they're actually starting to fall apart because of course the moisture is getting into them. However, that shouldn't really affect how they taste. Correct. So we're going to go ahead and put our toppings on. So again, if you're for health conscientious, I usually use a little spinach whenever I do my toppings for my tacos. It does call for lettuce. If you want to use kale, mm -hmm. use kale. If you like kale. So whatever you like, basically. Yeah. And spinach kind of adds a little healthy, more of a healthy twist to it, including the black beans. And if you use chicken or turkey, um, and always use lean beef, of course, when you use it. And every taco, everybody has a different uh, set of what they want on their tacos, so just a different set of toppings. So the next thing is the uh, tomatoes. It does call for, uh, some of the things that we don't have is, uh, it does call for guacamole. I'm not a big guacamole fan, we don't have any anyway. And it's something that you can definitely put on or you can, or you can leave off. Uh, another thing, and now he's putting on the sour cream, another thing that is, it calls for is olives, and that, again, that's just something that I wouldn't put on my <laughs> tacos, but he probably would. And something that we do have that is not called for is the hot, well actually it is called for, the hot sauce. So this is actually a shout out to Aunt Angie. Um, Aunt Angie, this is Aunt Angie's hot sauce. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pet that, but use whatever hot sauce you like. Add a, add a thimble. <laughs> yeah, when Miami you you sauce gotta, is warm. And you got to dial it back just a hair. Yeah, because it, it, it definitely has a kick to it. All right. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and take a, a mouthful and we're going to let you know exactly how it tastes. Even if you want to make some fresh pico de gallo and in your pico de gallo, if you want to throw in some mango into that too, that would be a great addition to it, but make it yours. Okay, it's good. I mean, it's tacos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there's only so many ways you can make tacos and it tastes like tacos, but um, so, I mean, yeah, it's a good recipe, but I mean, this is a recipe you can pretty much find anywhere. Uh, as far as easy, I would give it probably on a rating from one to 10, I'd probably give it about a, maybe a, 
a five. Five or six. Yeah, five yeah, or it's six. easy, and it's something. Quick it's really easy. Make. I'm not really, I'm not really good at uh, cooking, especially like browning and stuff like that. So it might be a little harder for me. But um, yeah, that's pretty much our opinion on it. Again, these are not my recipes. These are recipes that I get from the calendar. And um, please leave in comments below any kind of thoughts or anything that you might want to change. That way we might be able to pass it on to other people. Um, one thing I will mention is that next month we have May. You want to pass me the calendar real quick? Sorry about that. As you say goodbye. <laughs> so next month we have May, which is a spicy crock pot cheesy hamburger dip. So that should be pretty good. Um, actually, I'm kind of looking forward to this one. So anyway, without further ado, y'all have a wonderful week, and this might be something that you might want to do for Taco Tuesday. Catch y'all later, and see you next month. Alright guys, thank you so much for checking out this episode of uh, Calendar Recipes. So, uh, if you want to check out any more of our recipes, you can check them out online on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below, and even if you have some questions like, I don't know, like, who's the lazy dog in the background or what yeah she's kind of roaming around somewhere somewhere <laughs> um but if you have any questions at all leave the comments below and uh we'll try to get to those also see you next time and check out our other recipes